Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin. We're doing like a sort of hype train style thing this week. We're doing Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood Blenchmark. We were planning to actually play a bit of Final Fantasy XIV as part of its free weekend. Uh, it's available until May 8th, where they're actually anybody who's been a previous member can come in for 48 hours and try and play catch up to get prepared for the release of Stormblood really soon. Now, I have to wait for someone to actually happen uh, to register my account. So what I'm going to do is sit down and watch the Stormblood, Stormblood Benchmark video which is the video that gets played uh, whenever you're running the PC benchmark test on your P console or on your hardware to see if you can actually run the PC version of the game. Now, obviously, this is just a pre-rendered video of it, so it's not going to be as good as a PC version may actually be, but there's a lot to see, so it's like six minutes long, so let's check it out. Um, I'm excited to see what kind of new content, new actions, new uh, skills, new bosses, new locations are all going to be showing it. Even just looking at the still image they have here, like I'm seeing some badass-looking Iron Giants and nice, cool... Uh, I don't, what do you call those kind of trees? I, know, I can't remember them off the top of my head. But um, yeah, let's check it out. I'm a huge fan of the Final Fantasy IV series, and fourteen has been very, very cool. I've enjoyed it since before A Realm Reborn, so uh, I'm hyped. I'm hyped to just see what this is. So let's see what they got for us. Ooh. Monks in the Temple. Nice. Just love the little like fire flakes and stuff. So the monk class I imagine is like the big new release. And so we go to war! I'm assuming this is all happening kind of like in Alamigo or Malamigo Desert, just by the, the coloring and the locations. Okay, show me more, show me more! Ah, cool! Nice! Oh man, oh, there's actually some cool looking new enemy types in there. Astrologian. Oh, did I just realize that's a Titan someone? Yeah. Oh. Red Mage! <laughs> cool. Bean, bean, bean. Cool. So like almost like a wand sword. A DPS and debuff heavy uh, red mage, yeah. And of course monks are just gonna beat the shit out of things. New locations, new cities, cool. Samurai! Oh man, cool! Alright, so the samurai classes are going to be unlocked, I imagine. Uh, that's kind of like a lot of like very quick first strike, kind of heavy DPS kind of character. They're not really a defensive, aren't they? Oh man. Ah, that's cool. That's going to be a nice hangout spot as well. Everybody hanging around you, Katas. <laughs> okay. This is a familiar location. Is it? Is, is that where I think it is? Is that actually the same? No! All right, well, here comes a little bit of 3D combat. <laughs> Mining and swimming. Right. Oh, mine's actually be underwater too. That makes sense. And enemies to fight. 
Awesome. So I said you introduced this woman to it. That's cool. I still that's because I haven't finished it. I don't have any aerial mounts. <laughs> Monster hunting. Always fun. Liking this new music as well. Okay. I'm assuming these gates were important. They actually blocked off something in the past and they're only finally going to let people through. Oh, wow. Should we invade in the place? Alright. It's obviously not Gilgamesh, but is it, uh, what do you call him? Oh, what is the guy that you used to actually uh, pay in Final Fantasy X as a summon? Oh, you would actually give him money and he would actually fight for you? I have no idea what that's guy. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. He's like a food dog. <laughs> was he actually Gilgamesh? I don't think he was Gilgamesh. He was something else. <laughs> nice. A frog summon. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Like a single opponent attack. And goodbye. Oh, cool. So June 20th, 2017. That's what we got to look forward to. Um, that looked pretty awesome. I was actually really excited to be playing, watching through that. So um, a lot of stuff that I knew, I kind of knew they were all, every single time they do one of these expansions, they just add more content. So they're adding more classes to fill up, um, more, I'm imagining there's going to be more fishing to do because they've got the underwater in there. Um, more mounts, more everything. Just, to, just the whole point is like literally just more stuff than you could possibly ever plan to complete and get in your own lifetime. Oh god, I, I, I felt I got mild case of indigestion just watching all that stuff happening. Uh, but that looks gorgeous. Uh, Stormblood actually looks good. Um, and Foreign Fantasy fourteen has gone from strength to strength over the last what three and a half, four years since uh, Realm Reborn released, and they've been pumping out these expansions. Regularly enough, sitting with a story content, a story bible that's been very, very solid. I mean, um, a realm reborn to heaven's word, just, just getting to heaven's word, man. There, like, there was the actual like the one point, the the one point oh storyline of realm reborn. Then there was actually the bit that got you to heaven's word, which was wow. It it was sad and dark and emotional and interesting. So I enjoyed playing through that. So I, I, I need to get back. I need to get in. I need to get in. Where's that email? I need to get in. I need to get in now to get us actually a couple of days of heaven word. I can, I can feel the hitch growing inside me already. Oh, dear God. <laughs> no, I don't have time for this. I really don't. <laughs> All right, um, guys, that was uh, the, tra the Stormblood benchmark trailer. And it's got me way too tingly and excited to play Final Fantasy XIV. So I hope you guys will join me on stream at some point over the rest of this week to actually uh, burn through as much of the content as we possibly can before they take away the free access again. And I will be forced to actually consider, hmm, should I pay for it this month? Will I have time to actually make it worth my while? So uh, yeah, Final Fantasy XIV, let's jump back into that as soon as possible. And I recommend if you haven't played it before, you can play A Realm Reborn completely free up until a certain level. Uh, there's like multiple trials that they give away for free all the time. So you can of course go to FinalFantasy14.com, give it a try and check it out. And remember, there's two expansions to that game so far. So you've got the Heaven's Word and the upcoming Stormblood to actually worry about. So <laughs> that's your fault for actually joining the party late. So uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and I will see all you dudes. Oh, wait, actually, you know, normally what I say, like, you heard me talking about the trailer, I man. If you want to, hit the store button up there. That'll actually allow you to keep track of all the videos I do normally. Up here, there's kind of, like, hype train and other videos. Probably another Final Fantasy video I'll actually put on listed here that I've actually done for either Final Fantasy 15 for World of Final Fantasy or for uh, the Final Fantasy 14 Christmas special that I did. So, um, yeah, you can go and check those out any way you like. And if you can't find me on through those, you can always just search for me under Passage of Skin. That way you can know where I am at any time. 
time, just search for it. Google will tell you where I am if you want to see me. You're more than welcome to. I'm not exactly invisible. So uh, until that time, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.